Mark Finley is a great friend of ours, visiting our organization, and we are really uh, genuinely um, honored to have you here. Back uh, at the starting point, President Eisenhower was sitting with a young man who was in his 20s at the time, and he said to the president, Mr. President, do you think that it would be a crazy idea if we invited the leaders of the world to come together to pray together? And President Eisenhower said, young man, not only is that not a crazy idea, it's the best idea I heard. And here is my address book. Go to them and use my name. And there are now, I think, around 130 countries every year will send a delegation, usually around 130 parliamentarians, maybe 900 international guests come to Washington for this great event, an opportunity to meet together, to pray together, to share together what, what God is doing in their communities and in their societies all around the world. So what do you think really prayer breakfast National Prayer Breakfast, and that atmosphere, this uh, spiritual gathering, uh, the impact that could have to make this world a better place, to change the societies and communities. When we see disasters happening, it is faith communities who are the first to action. They are inspired, loving one another as they go. And it's just incredible to see how quickly uh, the communities of faith around the world are able and willing to respond to these disasters much more quickly than any government can mobilize. I think that sense we all want to be loved. We all, we all, nobody wants to feel forgotten. And when we can reach out a hand to somebody who's in need and, and lift them up and pull them out of the floods, and give them a place of security and safety and, and provide shelter for them. It's, it's just a powerful message. And the fact that Zakat is going as an American relief organization is going all around the world with the stars and stripes on its shoulder, giving an example of love as they go. It's just, it's, it's palpable what will happen from that, what people will think. The last question is that, what do you see actually, uh, how do you see tomorrow, the, the future of the National pra uh, Prayer Breakfast? It provides opportunity for people of like mind to talk about issues in countries. Right now, it's an opportunity in safety and security away from the public spotlight for people to get together, for meetings to happen. I, I have a big folder during the prayer breakfast of all of the scheduling and the programs and the attendees and the calendar of events. But the most important is, is the white space on the paper, not the ink. It is the, it is the God space on the paper. If we do not give all the honor and glory to God and leave Him to weave the magic of bringing people together, then we're failing. And that is what the prayer breakfast is about. It is, it is honoring God above all and letting Him bring people together, not us. Mark, thank you so much. That's so awesome to have you at our office. I appreciate it really. Thank you.